you about uh, this opening weekend as well as practice so far, and then we'll just take questions from you guys. I appreciate uh, everybody um, being here today. Obviously, a uh, <coughs> exciting time of the year uh, for us, and you know we are anxious to get the 2013 season started. Um, these guys have have worked really hard. They've put a lot of time, energy, and passion into to what they're doing. Um, we're uh, last three years. You know, we've had the opportunity to go to the SEC tournament, um, but uh, there's more out there for us. There's more out there for this group. Um, they know that. They know what our expectations, what our external expectations are, and uh, certainly uh, looking forward to uh, to challenge. And it starts uh, Friday at three o'clock. All right, go ahead, guys. John, last year you guys ran really well. Uh, are you going to steal as many bases or try to this year, you think? I think, um, you know, the intent is to use the personnel that we have. But, you know, I really enjoy the fact that we've got some guys that can really run and do athletic guys. Um, we lost two of our, our uh, top base stealers in, in Creed Simpson, who's playing professional baseball, and Jake Gonzalez, who will not be with us this year. Um, I still think we're going to have some speed, but. Uh, maybe a little different type of team you know not quite as much as last year we're still going to have the athleticism but uh you know it, it becomes more of a you know a responsibility of some of the other guys you know ryan tell and some of the freshmen and dan glevignac and some of those guys to to help carry on to the tradition of being athletic and running and stealing so maybe not as much as last year but certainly an opportunity for us to try to create some runs for us jp just talk about i guess opening Weekend with with Coger, Rocky, and then uh, Michael O'Neill. Kind of thought process going into his first three games. Yeah, it's it's always opening day is always exciting. You know, our guys are are they've seen enough of each other. They're they're tired of each other uh, facing each other. It's kind of like Groundhog Day all over. You know, every day is in the scrimmages. But uh, you know, Daniel Coger started 15 games for us last year. Um, you know, I think it was uh, second most in the SEC. He's certainly uh, a guy that uh, we're counting on to, to go out and do some, some great things for us this year and continue getting better. Um, Rocky McCord had a great summer. And uh, Michael Neal is a, uh, a junior college uh, pitcher that we have high expectations for. So um, we got some other guys, Trey Cochran-Gill, uh, Trey Wingener, and Dylan Ortman, all those guys are certainly competing for time also. What are your thoughts about right field as it's stacking up right now? I think right field is a position that uh, you know we've got a couple guys battling for. Hunter Kelly is a uh, junior college player. We've got uh, Jackson uh, Burgreen and uh, Sam Gillick. And Sam's a very highly touted freshman outfielder from Hoover. Can really run. He's one of those speed guys, uh, Mark. That uh, you know that we we talk about a little bit. But um, you know I think right now that uh, it's it's anybody's. You know, opportunity to, to keep that job. We're going to give several guys an opportunity this weekend. I think probably line up with Sam out there to start with in right field. But uh, you know, uh, they got to they got to earn their keep, and you earn it by performing every day. Yeah, Daniel, just talk about being a guy that you get to get to start the first game, a Friday night guy. I know that's one of the the things that guys always shoot for is to be a Friday night starter. How different do you feel as a pitcher going into your sophomore year? I mean, it's definitely something that uh, was my goal going into the offseason. I wanted to be on the, on the Friday night stage. I wanted to be in that position. And, uh, luckily, it worked out for me. Um, I think it's a, it's a little different role this year than last year. Uh, I mentioned before, Derek Barndor was definitely a big help to me last year. Room with him, he kind of guided me around as a freshman. But I think I think that's kind of going to be a role that I'm going to have to play a little bit, trying to help people out as much as I can with uh, any kind of experience that I've gotten. So I think uh, I'll be able to help a little bit. Daniel, obviously a good, solid first start to your career last year. Can you talk about what areas of the game you think that you've really improved upon in the offseason where you're at right now? Throwing a lot of fastballs last year. Uh, majority, majority of fastballs were coming to uh, hitters. I think this year is a lot more consistent secondary third pitches. I can throw up there. Uh, I know my fastball command has gotten a lot better. I can move uh, in and out, up and down when I want to. And I think the, the consistency for the curveball and changeup are going to help me a lot. Josh, so you're shaking your head. I mean, how pleased are you with the work that he's put in, the results? And the yeah, I think seen? the biggest, you know, the, the one thing is he's committed himself and he's really matured. I think, you know, one of the, one of the defining moments uh, that I look at is 
you know, when I look back in the SEC tournament last year and, and on a big stage, I believe he was pitching against Georgia in a big game for us and, and just watching him go through that game, um, I think he really started to mature and then, you know, you look at the work ethic that he's put in, the time, and, and uh, I think he's, you know, uh, really made some big adjustments and like he was saying, you know, the breaking ball, the off-speed stuff, just more of a complete pitcher, I, I think that would be a, a good way to put it. Chip, do you have a feel for Will Kendall yet? What do you think he might be able to put him on a 35? Yeah, great question. Um, he uh, He's making great progress. He is on a 35-man roster. You know, um, it looks like right now that he would be able to uh, uh, compete in a game if everything continues as, as planned. Uh, probably that first uh, week weekend when we play Vanderbilt, that looks like he might be able to go out there and actually compete in a game. Making great progress, had another uh, great bullpen today. You know, it's, it's that dilemma there where, you know, is he going to be able to help us enough and you got to curtail his innings and, the, you know, kind of watch his workload. But uh, he's, he wants to do it. He wants to be out here. He wants to help us. So I think if he stays healthy and continues the progress, he can be a big help to us this year. So you get your reaction to the uh, SEC preseason poll uh, the other day coming out. Uh, you've had you guys set up in the West and uh, lower your confidence overall. So yeah. yeah, you know, the thing is I haven't talked to the team about external expectations right now. That's something that when we get to the SEC uh, series, we'll, uh, when it starts, we'll talk about we'll talk about that. We use that as motivation. But right now, the only thing we're focused on is uh, the internal expectations and where we need to go. You know, people can uh, can write whatever they want, they can vote, they can pick, they can do all the polls, but when it comes right down to it, you have an opportunity to play the game, and that's the greatest thing. So when it comes time, uh, that will certainly be used for motivation for this club.